Welcome to Compatible Numbers. In this lesson I'm learning to use compatible numbers to solve problems like 5 plus 3 plus 6 minus 8 by first adding 5 and 3 to get 8 and then removing the 8. Let's start with this question here. You can see over here I've got three counters plus over here I've got four more counters plus over here I've got two more counters. Unfortunately, I lose six of those counters. So I want to work out how many counters am I left with. Well, in this lesson, we're looking for numbers that we can put together that will help us answer this question. So, looking at these, I can see that 4 plus 2 equals 6, and I think that's going to be helpful. Let's use these materials up here to see what that looks like. I'm going to move the, uh, the four counters down here so they're in a row. And I'm going to combine them with the two counters. So you can see I've now got a row of six counters here. Now the question says I then lose six counters. So here are six counters. If I have to take away six counters, that'll leave me with zero counters. But don't forget, I've still got these three counters up here. So the answer is 3. And if we look at our equation here, we use this 4 and 2 to make 6. We then had to take away that 6, with le which left us just with this 3. Let's try another question. Uh, this time I've got 7 counters, you can see up here, plus another 2 counters, you can see in the middle, plus another five counters. Unfortunately, I lose nine. So I want to work out how many am I left with. So first of all, I look for some numbers which I can put together, which will help me answer the question. And I can see that seven plus two equals nine. And that's helpful because later on, this question tells me that I lose nine, so I have to take that much away. So let's have a look at what that looks like with materials. Over here I've got my seven counters and I'm going to move these two counters over. So now I've got a pile of nine counters. So if I have nine counters over here, but then this question tells me I have to subtract nine, that means I'm going to be left with no counters at all over here. So the only counters I'm going to be left with is this pile over here. And in this pile, there are five counters. So 7 plus 2 plus 5 minus 9 equals 5. And you can see in this equation what we did. We put the 7 and the 2 together so that that would make 9. Then we had to take away 9, which left us with 0. So the only amount we had left were these five counters. Now let's try a question uh, without any materials. This time I've got four counters, plus another eight counters, plus another three counters, but I lose seven counters. So I want to work out how many counters do I have left. So just like last time, I'm looking for some numbers that I can join together that will help me answer this question. Well, I can see that if I put the three and the 4 together, I would make 7. So I'll cross those two out. So by combining those two piles of counters, I've now got 7 counters. Now later on this question says I have to take away 7. So if I've got 7 and I take away 7, that will leave me with 0 counters, which means the only amount of counters I've got left is this 8. So the answer is 8. Let's try one more question. Uh, this time I've got two counters, plus another five counters, plus another ten counters, but this time I lose twelve counters. So again, I'm looking for some numbers that I can combine together to make this question easier to answer. Well, looking at those numbers, I can see that I could combine my 10 and my 2. Because if I combine those two, I'll have a 
pile of 12 counters. So I'll cross out these amounts because they've now been joined together to make this 12. And that's helpful because later on the question says I need to take away 12. So if I've got 12 counters and I take away 12 counters, that'll leave me with 0 counters, which means the only amount I've got left are these 5 here. So the answer is 5 counters. Well, I hope you've found this lesson helpful. For more help, check out teachertools.co.nz.